All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the island. There are no babies. There's no babies. This thing is not working. Uh, and I have struggled, man. Oh, have I struggled? It's pretty cool for a trading idea. Uh, I've struggled like crazy, okay? Uh, so last episode we built this. This is supposed to be a village breeder. These guys are supposed to get hearts, but no. They're just looking at each other weirdly and they're like, I don't love you, bro. I really don't. And then this guy does this. He's like, Ugh, can't stand seeing him anymore. Um, but anyway, I, uh, <clears throat> I've, I've really been, been trying to fix this. So last episode I had... Can I? Do I have? I have Ender Pearls. Okay. Last episode we placed a bunch of doors down here and we put another villager down here. Um... And later I found out in the end of the episode that it didn't, the skylight didn't reach down. And I didn't think that was a problem, okay? And no one in the comments said anything. Uh, and I don't know if you were trying to be nice or if you didn't know better. Uh, but I did some research and apparently skylight needs to be visible. Or you need to have skylight, basically. Um, <clears throat> you can see that by F3, and you kind of go look at the sky, where's the light, zero sky, that's because we have a thick face roof ceiling here now. Um, so, I ended up raising it, and I raised it to the same level, put it here, um, waited for like 10 hours, you know, of AFKing like this. It was really boring. <laughs> And nothing happened. And so then I read some more and I, I saw that you have to have them six blocks away. This fake village needs to be six blocks away. Um, and there can only be six doors because that is equal to two villagers. But we just have one villager in that village. Um, and so I thought that should work. But now I've been waiting for another hour and nothing happened. So I'm a little bit worried. I don't know. It could be because of the other villagers, you know, and, and if so, we have an issue because we want this to grow Tortuga. Um, but anyway, I'm sick and tired of trying to figure it out for now, so we skip it, okay? Uh, if you guys know what's wrong, please do let me know. Please, please, I'll do anything at this point, okay? Um, thank you. I thank you. So... Thank you all for tuning in. Today is Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. I have had a massively tough week, rough week. Um, it's, it's you know, Christmas is closing in. Oh, I should show you. I'm in my Christmas. Christmas I'm in my, I'm in Isk Santa's outfit. Yep. Because uh, it's it's now December and it's it's half December already done. So I feel, starting to feel Christmassy. Uh, but anyway, it's been, it's closing into Christmas, a lot of people want to get stuff done, and a lot of things end up on my table, apparently. Uh, so I've been working like crazy, but it's been a good week. Um, but I am happy that it's Friday. Take it easy, relax, have some good dinner, watch some Minecraft, you know, play some Minecraft. Um, so while I was waiting for, for the villagers, I've also been working quite a bit in Tortuga. Uh, let me take you through. I put up some buildings, okay? I put up this building here, uh, and they're just really scaffolding. I put up this, this, um, this here. I extended the sand over, then I ran out of sand. Uh, <laughs> put up this building here. And I, what I'm trying to do, and I think this is really important, that I'm actually very inspired by B00 at the moment, the way he lays down. He started a new creative build series. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I really much enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy how how he kind of plans things out, and it really makes sense to me. It's something that I've been using the same technique uh, for, for years myself, but in case you're not uh, aware of it, and I've said this many times, focus on, on layers, build it in layers, build the structure, build the layout first, and then go with the detail, etc., etc. Um, and with Tortuga, I, I just started like placing down and, and kind of trying to get the feel of how it would be when we are done, you know? Um, so in here, for example, we'll have a little alleyway and it will probably end right here because we have another building there. Um, and then here, a natural road has appeared because of how I placed the building and the road goes all the way around and we have some, uh, some options to connect it back up to the jungle. Uh, and same here, we have another road, it's kind of marked down with a cobblestone. 
uh, <laughs> right now. So we have another road here. And I hope that you guys see what I see. I see this done, you know. Uh, over here, also interesting thing. Uh, I'm thinking, I've got a lot of comments saying that we should somehow try and make Tortuga uh, have an old town, an old Tortuga town that's, that was more inside the jungle. Trying to make maybe like uh, some ruin ruined buildings and stuff. And I really like those ideas, guys. So thank you for them. I haven't mentioned it before solely because I want to kind of mention it when I'm in Tortuga, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll surely, sh surely do that. Let's go creepy real quick. See, uh, I want to work some here today. I want to do some Tortuga stuff. I want to get... Ideally, I, I was going to get a villager here today and start the population for real. But now I'm worried that our village is full with all the villagers that we have over there and, and that they won't breed anymore. So we may hold back on that. Um, another thing I've done is that I've finally, finally uh, worked on the on the docks here again. Um, if you remember, this was a long time ago now, but I was struggling to find a proper design for the docks. I was go going with a, <clears throat> a wooden design and I didn't like it and then I switched over to stone didn't love it And then I started to do like an in-between and and this style here is very stony. I think I like it. So it's basically just um, Stone and then stairs we could even now that I see it we could go and change uh, Let's see this yeah We could go and and do this right for the for the edges <clears throat> Yeah, I think I like that better. That way we get a little bit of a natural kind of arc on all of these. Um, but anyway, I'll do that off camera. I just wanted to show you. I think it looks fantastic. The good thing with this dock is that, or the important thing with this dock, I should say, is that it shouldn't take up your vision. It should just be there and it should feel natural. The vision should be all about the buildings and the epicness behind it. Uh, and look at how cool that looks. Come on now. Wow. We see the, the trees peeking over like that. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Mm. Anyway. Um, and then I also uh, did some more scaffolding over here. Because I want to bring Tortuga out a bit here. So that we get that bay feel. Because uh, before it was just a flat, flat kind of face. Um, so that's a little bit what I've been up to. Now, to start this off, I'd like to try and decide with myself and Yai, <laughs> with myself and Yai, with myself and you, what we do for pathways. No one really had any comment about this when we did it. So what we've done here is um, trying to keep the main background of Tortuga sand or sandy. And I think that makes sense. So on most pictures from tropical cities, um, this is the type of ground there is. Uh, the question is, how do we... Uh, do, do we take it farther than what we've done? And let me show you um, what I mean by that. So, we have, a, we have a road here. It's very hard to make out, which I like. I like that because in real life, most things are just concrete and stone. And, you know, you don't have clear pathways. Or uh, I know a lot of people in Minecraft does very clear pathways with, like... Um, yeah, they would they would do a pathway like this maybe, and then in the middle there would be another block, maybe maybe a stone, and it all looks good. But uh, if you can make a pathway that just blends in, um, I think that you've done something amazing. I think that you've uh, you've truly created art. Uh, so that's what I want to try and make. The question is how much birch, if any, do we have in this? Because the birch is annoying me a little bit the way it is. Uh, I'm not happy with the texture. Uh, the problem though, if we don't have birch, is that the road on almost completely disappears. Uh, and I wanted to see if we can fix that. So let's just place some blocks. I haven't really planned this part out. I just want to see what happens. Maybe if we use... And, and what I'm doing, by the way, is upside down uh, sandstone sla uh, stairs. And then we get this effect. I wonder if that... No, it doesn't work on slabs. Stupid me. Um... Because birch usually goes very well with sand, but I just don't feel the love of it in Tortuga, if you know what I mean. It just doesn't feel right, man. Hmm. I don't know. This is this is important. <laughs> this is very important for Tortuga's future. If I can't make pathways that I'm happy with, then Tortuga's gonna look bad. Um... 
and this is kind of the town square so an, an easy fix to this would be to like start adding other things that kind of uh, passively shows you where the road is like a boulder there and now you kind of know that you got to walk this way or you got to walk this way but you're not going to walk here right uh, but since this is the town square that doesn't really make sense why would you have a big boulder in the center of the town? This is where people should be dancing and singing and, you know, being amazing. All right, I've been thinking here a little bit and I've cracked it, I think. Um, let's see if you follow my lead. I was, I was working over here. I had to go and grab some more materials and stuff as well. But um, I was working over here and I realized that the only area that's kind of tough to do with this type of, of path that is not really laid out it's just a lot of pirates stomping on it and things over years uh, the only area that's really tough to do that with is this because it's so open um, it's one of those things where you kind of overdo it a little bit if you know what i mean now check this out we come in here we go between two buildings and we got a natural little slopey thing maybe we put a slab there instead and i have no slabs jeez jeez I should start a counter for how many times or how many uh, uh, crafting tables I do in my videos. Okay. Um, and I just lost my breath. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you come in here between two buildings, natural slope. We got a little bit of a variation, a little bit of a height change, right? We do a little bit of this stuff to break it up. Maybe we break you. And you can clearly see that people have been walking here. You come here and... You go back up now we have a height variation and that's important and then already this looks like a pathway right uh, but imagine taking it to the next level we start to install maybe some bushes we have um, grass on the side in spots because it's still tropics so maybe it's grass like that uh, maybe down here and maybe over here and then in between there may be coarse dirt like so. Maybe there's even like a little bit of a rock here. You see? Now this area is obviously very small and I actually, I, it's important for me that the grass is kind of broken up with the sand, otherwise the path doesn't make sense, otherwise the path all of a sudden turns into a complete different color and that we don't want. Um, but by kind of just focusing on where the roads are, here's another example. Um, oh, clear my throat. <coughs> oh my goodness, I am sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Uh, here's another example, and I do want to do that, where you can clearly see that it's a pathway. We can even go uh, and, and fix this up a little bit. It was a long time since I did this, but you can see that it's a pathway solely by the way the path is laid out between two things. Now, the texture is still the same. So what I'm trying to say is, I shouldn't worry about this flat area because it's going to be tough. We're going to have to go with some palm trees, maybe make some spots of like uh, green and maybe even some water features uh, in order for this to to finally look good. Um, and the roads actually work as long as as long as there's some kind of delimiter or um, yeah, delimiter, I think is the word. They actually work. So. Yay, we got the road situation situated. <laughs> okay, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. It was really bothering me there for a while. Um, we already spoke about the ticket torches, and I may want to have one over here. I want to be a little bit careful with the lighting still, though, because that's the last layer for me. That's that's what you do after the scaffolding, after the city plan, plan and all that is, is, is laid out. Um, so I think I'll wait with that. I don't know what I've done here. That looks kind of cool. Again, a natural race into the building. It's not necessarily a stairway uh, or a staircase going into the building. You have the same here. This doesn't lead anywhere, but it does break it up a little bit, doesn't it? So that's pretty cool, I think. Small things like this is what I will be going around doing, and I think in the bigger picture, uh, it will make sense. Now, let me ask you a question okay i'm gonna go do a little bit more work actually you know what let's do something else first i wanted to you see if we take a look at tortuga in this little angle here 
it's gorgeous, right? It's so good. There's a little bit too much vines there, but in general, it's really good. And one thing that's pretty cool is that we are using two types of base blocks here for the buildings. The hardened clay being prominent and then the red one occasionally, right? But it works and it looks, looks really beautiful. If we take a look over here and try and do, get the same feeling, it just doesn't happen, right? And the difference is that these buildings are detailed. We got a little bit of a cobble thing that I really love here. Um, we have the spruce kind of dipped chocolate, chocolate uh, wind eyes. Uh, over here, I mixed it up with some jungle wood. This building is actually not even done, but it does work because it's it, it still sticks out now that it's just standard and no, no other building is standard. Um, so don't worry, we will surely be doing that as well. And I'm thinking, I kind of want to start a little bit with it because it's so much fun. It's when things comes together. Um, do I want to do this? Hmm. All right, I, get, I got some materials now. Um, so we're going to work with a bunch of different things. But one thing that we, we got to, and I keep saying this, and, and this is really important if you want to build cool things in Minecraft. And this is like a, 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 a trap. I'd say almost like a trap that it's so easy to get stuck in. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I think I'm going to have this building be a little bit worn by doing the light gray and the white. Just don't, just make sure that it doesn't look like a pattern. That looks pretty cool. I think that could work. Um, gives this building its uniqueness. Anyway. Uh, one thing that is important with Tortuga is that we will never over-decorate any of these buildings, right? The epicness in Minecraft many times will lay, lie, will lie. Hello, crafting table again. I have one over there, I have two over here, okay. Uh, many times it will lie in the epicness of the build or in the scale of the build. Um, and what I mean by that is... This place, it's going to be so many buildings that the amount of buildings is going to speak for itself. They don't all have to be very uh, decorated or, or um, overly done. Uh, because I think what will happen if you try and make that is that you'll end up with, with just having a few buildings. Um, now, this is not to say that I'm lazy. Trust me, I'll, I'll constantly probably improve these. But it's never going to be very important uh, to have... A whole bunch of uh, of decoration and all building. We can go simple. We can do a little bit of this action here. I actually don't like that, but the the stairs there, for example. Um, but we don't need to overdo it. It kind of already works when you look at it that way. Um, so remember that, okay? Epicness doesn't have to lay in detail, although detail is important. Um, epicness many times when you see larger, awesome buildings or bases. Uh, in YouTube videos or, or when your friends have built them. If you take a closer look, you'll notice that not everything in a, gr in a grand build, that is, is super detailed. And uh, the, the epicness will lay in the, in the greatness of the build. Yeah, trying to explain it. I don't know if I managed. Uh, oh, and I've taken away all the doors that we had here. So we can't really place with doors. That's again to try and make the village thing work. Um... But we're going to have to eventually have a door in here. Maybe we can bring... Maybe we can have a porch here. Would that be cool? No, I don't like that. That's a way too big of a contrast. Um, just testing some things, you know. Okay. We could also use trap doors. Now, we're still in 1.8. So these aren't as handy. I can't place it there. Nope. Oh, but that looks cool. Yeah, I like that. I don't want to spam things. I just want to make it stand out a little bit, if you know what I mean. But look at that. <clears throat> now, everybody may not like this thing that I did here. And I, I'm not sure if I love it. I'm not, I haven't fallen in love with it. But um, I'll leave it for now. Okay, and I'll see if I get upset with it. I, I see what I'm trying to do. I'm not sure if it's working though. Uh, but I do like it. And we did a little bit of balcony stuff. So small things like that is what I want to do. And what else did we do over here? I'm trying to use this as a reference. Yeah, we brought that out like so. So we can do that here as well. And that's going to be huge. So basically, uh, take away these. Come up with you. 
Uh huh. And that's huge because it adds another completely different color already to the very plain building. And that's pretty cool. I like that. It does look a little bit weird here though. Doesn't look very supported, so maybe we can do that. Hmm. Now it's almost too heavy, right? Yeah, that's too heavy. Let's do this. Let's keep you, go back with you, place you there. Aha! There we go. <clears throat> that's cool. We could even do this. Check this out. Let's switch this. Like, no. <laughs> like, ah, dang it. I'm not going to be able to get that. Wait. Aha. Aha. And, huh! there we go. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Now it looks very much more structural. And it's going to help with the door as well. Um, do we want to do anything on the upside? You can kind of notice this building is interesting as well. I know there's a lot of talking about theory and stuff today, but, uh, I, I, you know, it's good to have those episodes every now and then. This building is kind of interesting. It's very flat, very plain, but it works because this here is so ominous. Like, it's so... It takes up your, your head. It's like... Oh, that's, you know, that's a lot of stuff to take in. Uh, and as with this building, we have this thing, which is a lot of things to take in, the different uh, colors here. Uh, so I think that's good, actually. Let's not overdo it. Let's do that. And then we, of course, have to add some wind eyes and stuff on the top there. Um, but it looks it looks fantastic. I like it. And that's what I'm going to go and I'm going to do on, on more of these buildings, try and get a little bit of detail in. While I do that, okay, we're, we're gonna have to end the episode here soon, but I wanna, I wanna get a little bit done, a little bit of progression. I wanted to speak with, uh, to you about something. I want your honest opinion on this, okay? I've, I've been watching BWO, and I got inspired. Um, he has been changing some textures, okay? It's been changing some textures, and I know, me personally, I'm not a big fan of texture packs at all. I think it's weird, um, because I'm so used to vanilla, and I really like vanilla. Nothing wrong with using texture packs, but I really like vanilla texture packs, okay? Um, but he is starting to kind of change some of the textures. And at first, I was like, ugh, that's not, that's not going to be what, good, you know? Someone else downloads your world. Um, they won't be able to see what you see and that kind of stuff. They won't be able to replicate things. Um, but then he talked about the nether brick, okay? And he's like, I've changed the nether brick. I'm going to make it black and stuff. And I really want to do that. I don't want to change any other texture. I the, the, the wood, if you haven't seen it, he, for example, changed the spruce. Uh, so that every other plank is brighter and then you have a darker one and it looks really good But I think that's taken it too far. It's such a used block in my world that if I change it uh, You guys will be lost like what what block is that, you know? Um, but the nether brick is a block that I would never ever use. I tried it in the nether. It's really bad I hate this color so much, but changing it to a gray tone just removing the hue the color of this block I think would make me use it and it's kind of sad that we have a block in minecraft that has fences and and stairs and, and everything and i don't even use it um and i would if i turn it black <laughs> i would so i want to hear your guys opinions maybe some of you may think it's 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 cheating uh maybe it is a little bit cheaty uh but since i don't use the block since it would be completely discarded without that change because it would and it, it will, it is. Um, I kind of want to see what you guys think. Okay, so do let me know that, please. Um, all right. That's that's a little bit too much of a contrast, isn't it? You know what goes really well, though? We've spoke about this before. That goes so well with this brick, I think. Oh, my. Hmm. Anyway, let me do a little bit of this, okay? Not going to do too much. Uh, but I want to do a little bit of camera here, and then I will come back to you. Oh, it's so cozy in Tartuga during night, isn't it? I've, uh, I waited for it to be night here in a reason, though. I think, we were talking about the lighting, we were talking about the ticket torches and all that. I think, uh, when playing with lighting, and when, when building with lighting, as you all know, it's one of my main purpies, uh, in this series. 
That looks bad. Let's not do that. Let's do that then. Um, <clears throat> yeah, when playing with lighting, I think it's really important that you do it when it's dark. Because otherwise, you won't be able to see what you're doing. And immediately, if you do it when it's light and then it gets dark, um, immediately you'll see where you kind of place too much light and all that. Anyway, let me show you what I did here. I, uh, this put it together. Did this house, and I kind of made a little bit of a... Uh, a weird thing for the entry, and I may even go now that I see it again. Uh, may even go and do a spruce, a spruce thing like this. I think that will look better from the inside. And yeah, then you can clearly tell that that's an in, uh, entrance. And this is pretty interesting because uh, we are using clay. We don't have any any stairs. We can't really alter the textures, and the textures are far away. Even these two are far away from each other in color. Um, so you need a trim, right? And I've done this this method over here, but uh, where I went with cobble, kind of differentiate stuff. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I may remove that window there though. But um, then I did a little bit of this action. Uh, over here, I thought the wall was too plain. Added one brick, okay? Can we live with one brick? Uh, <laughs> just as a repair thing or whatever. Um, and did a cool ceiling shape here, basically. I didn't do it here. Um, very, very simple and, and it kind of almost feels... I don't have stairs, Jesus. Kind of almost feel like um, it adds a lot of depth to it for free, if that makes sense. Let's make our third crafting table today, or fifth, or fourth, I don't even know. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, I suck at this game so much some days when it comes to inventory, man inventory management. Okay, here we go. Basically, I just went like this, and then I go boop, and another one, um, and another one, and another one. And that looks fine on its own by doing that every now, uh, every, every other. Look at that, it just adds a little bit of structure. Uh, but then I went, okay, so you go away and we bring that down. It adds a lot of depth very easily. That's what I did there. Um, started to add a little bit of grassery and, and greenery as well, because that's going to be important. And as I said, these buildings are pretty plain, but um, only by adding a little things like this, we're going we're gonna to turn them into... They're going to be so different from each other, even though the shape will keep will keep Tortuga uniform. I spoke about this, okay? Over here I also did a building and this was this was interesting. Um, decided to go, so the building came here, right, with the clay. I decided to go in one and then put up jungle, um, jungle wood, and then bring the balcony in as well and kind of structure it. And again, I'm just playing with depths and doesn't that look good? It's a super tiny Small little house, right? It's gonna be interesting to do the interior for that shop, but it works. Come on now. You can't say nothing else Did a little bit of stuff on the side little luggage uh, and a beam going across coming out here and uh, Yeah, I really enjoy doing these small things and I will do mostly of it off camera in between episodes every now and then when I feel inspired uh, but I kind of wanted to to share the, my thoughts around the process, because it, it's it's weird, right? Um, and, and I keep saying it's weird, because we are using... We're, when I put up these buildings, they are extremely similar. They are just clay boxes with, with oak corners, and all the buildings have the same thing. But that's our uniform. That's how we keep Tortuga to one form. And then we differentiate them by roof color, um, facades, colors of the clay. Um, yeah, you get it. You get it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Do enjoy your Friday, okay? Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead, ahead, ahead and hit the like button. Mouth, wake up. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, I am... Yeah, I, I like these talky, describing episodes every so often. I think they're important. <laughs> so that Iskal gets to talk off. Uh, of his mind, uh, but we did get a little bit done, so I'm, I'm not too bothered. And I hope you like the new docs as well. Let me know about the nether brick, don't forget, please. I'm dying to see what you guys say. If I'm gonna say if 80% thinks it's a good idea, I'm gonna attempt it, okay? And we may use that brick then for our nether, uh, nether base thing. 
Okay? Anyway, take care, have a fantastic evening, and I will see you in the next episode.